Hi, I'm the Space Quest historian, and welcome back to the wonder that is Space Quest The Lost Chapter. Um, we found an oracle, somewhat impossibly embedded in the ocean floor here. I'm not sure what that entails. This looks like I should be able to swim through, but Roger just bumps his nose at it and keeps paddling like the moron he is. So let's head back to the surface. Uh, following that lovely little glimpse into the past, present, or future, the oracle was not specific on that point, and just head into the cabin. Is he on my tail again? Her, whatever. What is happening? Are you are you hungry for janitor? Or do you, okay, it just it it seemed hungry for janitor, but it seemed to also leave me alone. So does that mean we're done down here? Can I exit with impunity? I think I will. I think I will head back to the um, uh, the crashed spaceship on fastest because my god, this takes forever, and uh, pry my way into the in, in innards. You don't technically call it innards. Whatever. The inside of the spaceship. Let's go. All right, here we go. Go, Roger. Go. Use a metal bar. Uh, open door with metal bar. You place one end of the piece of metal in the small hole and pry open the door. Once again, you've surprised yourself with your smarts. Have I really? Oh well. It was almost as easy as opening a can of Zardinios. Except you can't eat what's inside. Well, let's see. I mean, he almost fucked the dead body on Labion. What's to say he can't chow down on a bit of desiccated never mind let's climb inside uh climb inside uh enter ship there you go Woof. <laughs> nice bit of animation there you gracefully break the shortfall with your head oh my i should be saving my game actually i'm gonna save it in a new slot uh uh ship spelunking it is cavernous so it is technically spelunky i am inside the ship i wonder what this want with me what? I bet it wants key cards. Yes, it does want key cards, doesn't it? Look, panel. The panel appears to have controlled the door at one time. Well, can I just open the door then? You're not close enough. How about now? You try your best to force, but the door... You, oh, sorry, you try your best to force open the door, but it does not budge. Well, maybe if I use key card. Maybe if I... Oh, I picked up several, didn't I? Yes, I have a gray code card and a green code card. Use green code card. What do you want to do? Shove it up your ass! What do you think I want to do with it? Right, I'll keep going. I'll, I'll, oh, hey, hey, Rog, where are you going? Wait, come on, come on. It's in. Stuff is happening in here. Butt stuff, mainly. Uh, look at whatever's in this wall. Oh, God, Roger. You've absolutely eaten a stupid pill. Or maybe your brain got decompressed in that, uh, uh, in that uh, cryogenic chamber there. Uh, something is definitely amiss with your head. Look around, then. This room leads to the ship's cockpit. There are few... There are few scattered things about the floor. Okay, I need to read. There is what appears to be an elevator here. Let's look at things. I don't understand things. But you just... Oh, God. I want to reach through the screen and slap the stupid out of you. What is on the floor? The floor has various items. Well, look at items then. I don't understand. God, that hurt. Uh, right. Well, I guess it's not important then. I'll just head into the cockpit and have a look around. Look, cockpit. The cockpit has the pilot's chair, various controls, and buttons. There's also some moss that has come in through the hole in the outer shell. I'll have the moss. You can't do anything with the moss. Besides, it's slimy and icky, and you don't want it in your pocket. We were fine with the breathy underwater slime moss thing. We even ate it. So apparently, between then and now, Roger has suddenly grown an ew, icky factor. Well, seeing as this thing is evidently still not interesting, I'll go in the elevator then. Look, elevator. I can spell, I promise. The elevator, when it worked, went down into the ship. It does not appear as dusty as the rest of the area. Since there are no buttons around, you assume it was a pressure-sensitive lift. Oh, we need to provide some 
uh, well, not fuel, but I guess power to the ship. What happens if I have a sit down, run some diagnostics, do something interesting? God! All right, I'm leaving. Apparently nothing interesting is here. Raj, are we leaving? Where'd you go? There you are. Come on, scoot. Well, I guess technically that's the end of the corridor, but why is he able to go up there then? Uh, fine. Also, that is a bit of a 180 degree rule change there. You exit to the left and appear to the right and dance, dance, dance all night long. Is there something interesting on the screen? I don't think so. You're still inside the crashed ship. I know. You're in a corridor that leads to the west and north. Enjoy your stay. Tip your waitress. Have fun. Get fucked. What's up here then? Oh, hello. Oh, oh Tickly Nose is up here. Um... My, my. I enjoy the, the, the graphic detail of the ship. It's not all frustration and whining. Uh, I do enjoy stepping into mustard-colored puddles as well. Have a look around. This is the ship's engine room. There is a small panel and screen to the east wall, on the east wall, as well as other screens and buttons everywhere. If only you had read that Engineering for Dummies data disk back on Xenon. There is a Karaxion warp converter on the north wall and a hatch in the floor near the south wall and also a piece of hair in my mouth. Mmm, 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 lovely pop filter, filled with cat hair. Something something panel, let's have a look at the panel. Look, panel. The panel below the screen appears to control all the major functions of the warp convertor. Convertor indeed, can I press some buttons? You'll have to be a bit more specific than that buddy boy, it would take you about half an hour to press all the buttons in here otherwise. Well, um, hmm. What's this warp converter do you? Oh god, what does the warp converter do? I don't- oh! Look, warp! The warp converter is dull and lifeless at the moment. Can I get it? Get warp! Can I push it? Can I fuck it? Oh no, 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 no. Alright, how about this? We use the panel. You fiddle with the panel, pressing various buttons. Apparently, you're getting good at this because a hatch begins to open! My! Alright, save my game because the second I walk over there, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna trip or I'm gonna fall. A tentacle is gonna spew up and kill me and snap me in half. Or some ungodly hairy beast is gonna reach his gigantic prehensile penis up from there and fuck me to death. Or... Yeah, I'll just fall over. Yeah, apparently not noticing how far down this hatch goes, you walk right into it and fall to the bottom. Of course, shattering your spine on impact, you don't survive the fall. Maybe you should watch your step, Roger. You are now dead. No fucking kidding. I shall go over here and I shall climb down, climb down. You carefully begin to climb down the tunnel. My, yes, this looks interesting indeed. Ah, you are in a room filled with electronic equipment. There is a compartment on the far wall as well as a screen to its left and a lever on it, uh, to its uh, right. I am not drunk, I swear. There is also a console on the east wall and a ladder going up on the north wall. Many, many things to mess with. I'll have a look at the compartment first. Look, compartimente. The compartimente built into the wall is closed, so you can't see too much. Well, other than it's a compartimente, but I, if I open the compartimente, I okay, open compartment. You're not close enough. How about now? You carefully press the green button next to the compartment. It swooshes open and reveals a microwave. Uh, what was the compartimente? It appears to be some kind of shielded compartment that houses two turbo rods. There's only one rod in the compartment at this time. So it needs more rod. I shall give it rod. Eventually. Uh, look, a lever, yes. The lever is to the right of the compartment, but you have no idea as to its function. Never mind, I shall push the lever anyway. I shall pull the lever anyway. I shall get into position and then pull the lever anyway. You pull the lever to the right. Nothing happens. Uh, let's have a look at the screen then. The screen has nothing on it at the moment. Let's have a look at this console. The console has a screen that does not appear to be functional at all. Many buttons and a switch protruding from the front. I will pull the switch. You pull the switch down. Nothing happens. Damn, and that switch looks so important too. 
Oh, something tells me I need to replace the rod before all of this lights up and god damn it, I am dead fucking sure it's not actually on the ship. Oh, oh, I just pressed, I just, I just went use panel and then you fiddle with the panel, pressing buttons and pounding on it. And amazingly, the door begins to open. I was, uh, I even had it on fastest because I was going to go for a dip and have a swim around and, you know, have a lengthy 30 minute sequence that I'd have to cut out because I was just me going, oh, what the fuck? I was doing that. But now the door is open and we can enter and, uh, oh my, this shit's gone a bit loopy in here, but I think we can salvage it. Look at the tiny little cake. Cable sneaks. Hello, cable. Look. Wires? Look. There are quite a few wires lying around on the floor. They must have been ripped out during the crash. Actually, let's have a general look around. You have entered a large room inside the crashed ship. There is a table of some sort, wires everywhere, and lots of debris to the left. The room extends out to the right. In this case, you can actually walk to the right. There is also this panel. Look at this panel. There are two small panels on the far wall, but they're quite useless now, however. And all of this debris is not useful either. Actually, you can't look at it. It just does nothing. Fine. Uh, I'll bet the table is kind of useless now, but let's give it a use anyway. What do you want to do with it? Uh, turn on table. Look, table. The table is actually wants some kind of console for monitoring something. It does not look functional now, and probably never will. So let's scoot over here, and there's a dead whale on the floor. Actually, what the hell is that? You seem to be in a workroom type environment. Various pieces of equipment lay around. There is a console on the east wall, and some strange rods in the corner. Ooh, maybe I was hasty about my hastiness. That would be a switch, wouldn't it? The most obvious piece of equipment is a pod of some kind almost in the middle of the room. Saving my game here. Pods are never good in science fiction stories. The pod looks like it... Wow. The pod looks like it holds one humanoid being, does it? Uh, none more, I hope. The door is open, but you have no way of telling if it is functional or what it does. There are two large wires attached to the pod. Oh, so this is not even the pod. The pod's over here. Oh, well, what the fuck is that thing? Is that was that his comforter when he exited the pod? All right, let's have a look at the wires then. The wires look like a power wire and something else, which you can only guess at. I'm going to guess catheter. They too seem undamaged. They're connected into the wall of the ship, so you have no idea where they go. Well, fuck it. I. Does anyone want to tell me what this thing is? Look, rots. The rods in the corner look like Kerzegian turbo rods. They are components for warp machinery used to power up Kerzegian warp converters. You can't remember where you learned this, but it is in your head nevertheless. I'll have a rod! You're not close enough. Do, do you, you have to go to the other side? Oh, they're up against the wall, I see. You take the rod that looks the best condition from against the wall. Cool! See, it, it looks like they're kind of connected to those little red bits there, but uh, they're, they're not. This looks like an arcade machine. Hello, console. The console to the extreme right looks quite new and undamaged. Well, let's have a use. You fiddle with the panel, pressing buttons, pounding on it, but of course nothing happens. Well, it worked on the fucking door, didn't it? You do notice there's a lack of dust on this panel as compared to practically everything else here. Could somebody have been using this panel for something? Since that door opened to let you in here, there must be power somewhere. Perhaps even power to run this panel. Oh my. Well, in intriguing and a little scary, I guess. Is this a door? Can I exit? No. Let's go and shove this lovely piece of rod into its housing. I, I see the door and I wish to subscribe to its newsletter, but I, that will have to wait. I think it's just another airlock and it's gonna release me onto the other side and perhaps drown. Actually, I can't drown. What fortuitous circumstances. I will, however, get eaten by whatever is behind it, I'm sure. All right. Time to skedaddle into the inerts of ship. Climb down. Let's see if I can do it before he gets it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, something. Hey, this thing closed on me. God dang. All right. Uh, open compartimente. Thank you. Open compartimente. Are you fucking kidding me? You press the green button, which should open the compartment, but it remains closed. Why? All right. Uh, I'll pull the lever. Pull the lever to the left. No. Open 
compartment. Carefully press. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that sort of locks it in, does it? Uh, insert rod. Place rod. Uh, use rod. You're not close enough. Ah, so close indeed. You carefully place the turbo rod in the open slot. It fits neatly into place. Cool. And what? What do we put? Do we uh, pull the lever? Uh, wait. Wait. It was a. It was a switch. Let's pull the switch. Uh, oh God damn it! He pulled the switch up. Nothing happens. Damn that switch looks so important too. Okay. Uh, do we pull this lever? Pull the lever to the left. Close compartment. Boom. There you go. All is good. Now let's pull the switch. Pull the switch down. <gasps> With the second turbo rod in place and the radiation screen down behind the closed compartment, the door, you hear the power rods rum to life. Hum, whatever. As the power goes coursing through them, you feel so proud that you managed to figure out how to get this thing operational. No fucking kidding. It's like the first puzzle I solved in the entire game. The only question now is what exactly is functional now that the ship apparently has power. I'm going to guess all the prison cells on board this ship in the dungeon somewhere have opened, spilling out wondrous prehensile penis monsters, and they all want to kill me. And then fuck me. What? You never had that dream? Alright, look screen. The screen appears to be giving the power output of the warp converter above, but you're only guessing at that. Well, excellent. Let's climb up and see what damage has been done. Not much. Maybe in the cockpit area. Oh, yes, yes. Come, come on, have a run. There you go, buddy boy. Doing grand. Yes, ah, ah, god damn you. Maybe the elevator works. I still don't know what this thing on the floor is and neither does it. Here we go. You feel a jerk under you. That would be me tickling your balls. And are quite surprised to feel the elevator move downwards. Whee! Very slowly. Very slowly indeed. Well, it's uh, still working. It's still working. We're we're moving. Here we go. Where in the fat, blasted, cock twiddling monkey balls are we? Okay, I'm saving my fucking game here. Uh, still technically ship spelunking. Um, I'm gonna keep that safe game because it is the thing that it, it is my solvey puzzle save gamey thing. I see that. I see, there's are those water droplets? You're in an underground cavern. Yes, but what is on the f there's nothing on the you can't see the floor. Of course you can't. Right, right. I'm just going to assume they're water droplets and carry on. Why hi there. Do you want to be my friend? Look man. Look creature. Right in front of you asshole. He does not want to be my friend, does he? The alien grabs you. You're in for it now, Roger. Well, having captured you, the aliens have taken you to a dark room and strapped you into some strange contraption. You can only wonder what they have in store for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, from the looks of it, it's highly pleasurable at first. Energy starts coursing through the strange clamps attached to your head. Ow. Okay, that is, that is less pre pleasurable. Uh, powerful energy was just slammed through your brain. Your brain bounced around inside your skull for a second before imploding into mush. Your last thought was of latex and babes. Not necessarily in that order. You die quickly, but the sight of your brain oozing out of your ears might have been upsetting, so perhaps that was a good thing. You are now dead. Well, what does this guy want? Do, do I... Do I overpower him? Do I fight him? I can't even look at him, so look... Alien. Ah, the alien has a gun. Besides that, there isn't much else you can ascertain. You don't recognize the species. You do recognize a heavily armed guard when you see one, though. Fight. Alien. I don't understand. No, you clearly don't. Uh, beats alien. Uh, use rod. Use... Alright, I'm skedaddling. Fuck you. He'll only follow you. Think fast, man. Why? Why would you... Ah! Okay, I'll just run around you then. I mean, he does have a gun, but apparently he's not using it. Bye! You can't run that way, you'll be caught. What the fuck do you want me to do? Uh, can you have a look at the panel, please? It is a, there's a large panel on the north wall. As usual, you have no idea what it does. I think you need to take panels 101 or something. All these panels uh, and no idea what they do. It just isn't right. 
Well, uh, thankfully this guy is not really keen on using his gun, so um, let me just uh, scoot around so I can type in pull lever. Yeah, I know. And... Whoop! Don't understand your request. Never mind! So I'm, I'm kind of stuck on the screen, it would appear. P -p push, push some buttons, push some buttons, push button. Don't understand your request. Well, if it doesn't say you're not close enough, that means it's not what we need to do. Kick alien. Uh, hmm. Do I talk to him? Do I blow my whistle? I have a tentacle. Would you like that? Look, screen. The screen is actually blank right now. It just isn't very interesting, though. Quite unlike your biography. Man, if you ever put that down on data disk, it would rock. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Talk to Alien then. The Alien has no interest in talking to you. Besides, I don't think he can understand you. He does seem very interested in you now, however. I wonder what he wants. Well, he wants my juicy brains. I'm not gonna give it to him. Does he want my flower? I, 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 I tried giving him my flower. He was not interested. I have no idea. Stone. Is the stone big enough? Can I whack him over the head with it? Looks like an ordinary stone. Throw stone. Throw stone at alien. Murder alien with stone. Don't understand murder. Fine. Okay, apparently, yes, walkthrough counter. Apparently, it was a good thing that I saved here because I missed something very important. Um, can we speed this up, please? Apparently, I was able to pick up... Um, something in here. The walkthrough is not specific on what I need to do. It mentions a gun, which is something I would love. But since you got the warp generator working, some circuit must have flared up and caused an explosion because there is new debris lying around. Actually, it looks like a compartment blew out because you can see the debris is actually various instruments, not all of which you are familiar. Uh, so, so what, uh, what is the debris? Can, can, is there anything useful in it? The debris is obviously from the crash. It looks like some pipes exploded and some interior structures collapsed. The new debris comprises different tools. Something looking like a data cartridge, a magnet, a control unit for something, what appears to be an extendo rope unit, and some other stuff that looks just Well, can I have? Let's start with the magnet, because that looks like a magnet. You pick up the magnet. How about the cartridge? Did I spell that? You can't get that here, but I want it. Look, okay. Uh, look, cartridge. The data cartridge looks damaged and damaged and unusable. Uh, what was that uh, ropey thing? The extender rope unit looks fairly intact from here. Well, let's see if we can get to it. Is 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 this it? Get rope. You pick up the extender rope unit. Hell yeah to the hell yeah. Well, what else have we got? Um. What was that last thing? What? The new debris comprised of something looking like a data counter's control unit for something. Ooh, I'll have the unit. I don't understand you. Get control unit? You can't get that here. Get get control. Get in control of your life, man. Uh, look, control unit. The control unit looks like it's been damaged and it is of no use. Well, that's it then. Uh, I think those wires will kill me if I touch them. Actually, I know they will because I just saw them do it a second ago while you guys weren't looking. Let's have a look. Well, having turned on the power, it appears some of the wires lying around became live. The level of power that is shot through your body is unfathomable to you. You die quickly, but painfully. Bzz, you're now dead. So, fun, fun times. He's just going to do that forever now. How about this panel up here? Use this panel. There are no functioning panels here. Fine, I will not mess with them. How about this shit over here? Well, let's get in the fucking pot, see what happens. Enter pot. Go on, get in there. Well, I'm here. Now what? 
Closed pod? Dance. Have a little dance. Make a little love. No? No. Alright. Oh, there is a button up here. I could have a look at the... No. Can't touch the button with the live wires. Alright. Oh, there's a separate look message for when you get... At, oh, at the end of the corridor. Take a closer look at the end of the corridor. Oh, you fucking rat bastard. That is not how you... Oh, God. Fine. All right, let's have a look here. You're at the end of the corridor. You see pipes on the left. There are broken monitors and a compartment on the far wall. Open compartamente. The controls to the compartment don't appear to be working. You bang on them. Still nothing. You eventually try to force open the compartment. And to your surprise, it opens. Look, gun. There's an alien weapon of some sort in the compartment. Get gun, Annie. You grab the gun. Your eyes light up like a kid at Christmas. What can you do with this toy, you wonder? Well, I can shoot myself in the head for looking as ridiculous as you do. So, fuck it. Off we scoot. Now we get in the elevator, and then we shoot alien. It's going to be exciting. I hope you're all on board with this. A million years later, Roger reaches his destination, stepping off the elevator, saving his game, and heading to the east, whereupon he shall shoot gun. Uh-oh. The alien, apparently faster on the draw than you, really, fires off a shot that heads straight for you. Ah, the solid laser, which is what the gun fires, slams, in case you were wondering, slams into your stomach and explodes out through your back. Your internal organs are obliterated in the process. The aliens will probably pick up your lifeless body and examine it to determine exactly what you were. I like that typo. I like the word lifeless. <laughs> I've always wanted to be so lifeless. I guess if you're going to start shooting at people, you'd better make sure you hit them. You're so dead, even dirt don't, don't want you. Okay, fine. Jesus. Let's do that again, and let's dodge that obvious, obvious projectile that was coming towards me. Let's fire gun. Boom. And scoot. Fire gun again. Scoot. There we go. Wait, what? I got him. God damn it. What? I did... I shot him. This is twice in a row. You blew the creep away. You never knew you had it in you. And there's a second guy. Fuck you too. But I did... Why? How come I move upwards to dodge the shot? Four gun. Fire gun. Let's do this again. There you go. Blew the creep away. Save our game here. Fire gun again. Fuck you. So all I have to do is move down, apparently. There you go. You blew yet another creep away. I never realized how violent or skilled with an alien gun you were. You can all get fucked. Uh, let's search this body. Oh, search alien. God damn it. The dead aliens don't have much on in the way of clothing to search. And the only other thing you're likely to find are large holes in their torsos. Put there by you, if you remember. You do see something that looks like a quinlinilinini in a guard on their belts. Don't ask me how you can read it, but you can. Both their guns seem to have been damaged when they fell, so they are of no use. So essentially searching them would be a waste of time. Though I know you've perfected that particular activity, how about you try to do something else? I will if you shut up. Fine. Let's get over here and see what we can see. Okay, more of this shit. More of this shit. Do we just kill them outright? I think we do. I think we're gonna kill a bitch. Hey, bitch. I'm gonna kill you. I don't understand your... Oh, oh, fuck me. Uh, fire gun. Though you have a great desire to blast stuff, it just isn't a good idea right now. Why? He's right there. Do I just evade him? I think I might do. Come on, fucker. Where are you? Come on. Come out here. Come out here. I know you want to. You stupid fucking twats, I'm off. Ah, you can, you can face through the fucking wall. Well, not on my watch, buddy boy. Hang on. I can't exit the screen. I thought this was a stealth section. Or whatever passes for a stealth section in this game. What, what am I doing? Do I, do I look around? There's a room to the east, apparently filled with aliens mulling about. Most of the cavern in this area is covered in the alien technology. It seems they've set up shop down here. There's also a panel and two screens to the northeast corner. 
So I don't go in here. So I've lured them into the control room for no fucking reason whatsoever. How about I just, um... Well, how about I just restore since, uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just exit to the south. That'll do. Um, let's have a look around. There's a room to the east, apparently filled with aliens. Yes, most of the cabin in this edge. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Panel and a screen on the west wall. There's a lot of equipment here, none of which looks like it can help you, but there is a lot of it. There's a machine on the west wall. That's fairly interesting, though. There's some tanks lying around, some boxes, and some other stuff as well. Let's have a look at the machine. Hello, machiney. Has a small console on the southern part of it. The machine must have some function, but you're unsure as to what it is. Where have you heard that before? Everywhere. Look at the panel. The panel is also for some purpose you can't fathom. Kind of like half your inventory. Ah, uh, use panel. Just bang on it. The equipment here looks pretty sensitive. Perhaps you shouldn't touch it. I know you live to touch things, press buttons, flip switches, and interfere with everything that isn't a pool of acid. Actually, that too. But not this time, okay? Besides, I don't think it would do any good. Why not? You just told me it was interesting. Get fucked. Uh, what were these rods? Uh, look. Um, dum, 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 dum. Oh, this verbose as fuck game. Tanks. They were tanks. You have no idea what's in the tanks. They look heavy and they are intact though. They probably hold some kind of gas or liquid. Who knows? I'll have a tank. Even if you could lift one of these things, it would just create a large bulge in your pants. Cool. And be about as useful as the Serenian peace negotiations. Fun. So live, live with the bulge that's there and leave the tanks alone. If you insist. So, moving on. Well, this looks fairly obviously fun. I'll have this suit. Get suit. You grab the suit and stash it in your pocket. The quantity and size of objects you can store in your pants always make you feel proud. I was actually going to wear it, but okay. Has, has anyone noticed I'm at 250 out of 255 points? I, I feel like I might be near the end of the game which is uh, peculiar to me seeing as the walkthrough seems to insist that there's a lot more game to go. Maybe Vonster just forgot to include points for the rest of uh, whatever uh, game there is. Look, um, panel. The panel has a series of buttons on it. One of them is green as in go or open or spoiled don't eat. You get the idea. Well, put, uh, not open, push a green button. You press the green button. The window opens up. You sure are the smart one, Roger. Never mind an unnamed person spoon fed you that one. Uh, what, what is this thing? What is, what is it? There's a room to the north. Da, 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 da. Small window in the wall that looks like it opens. It's a helmet. I'll have the helmet. Thank you. You grab the helmet and stash it in your pocket. Though bulky, it surprisingly fits well. The marvels of modern technology. If you could only patent your pants, you'd be a zillionaire. Noticing the helmet and the outfit going together, you combine them to form a full suit. I now have a score of 9 out of 255. Okay. Um, not entirely sure how that works, but I'm going to wear the suit anyway. This is just not an appropriate place to wear the suit. Maybe you might need it for a high pressure situation. Get it? Okay, so I'm not Robin Williams, but you still can't use the suit here. Okay, fine, fine. I will not. I have, however, I think infiltrated the alien ranks. I have a suit and the aliens are horrific looking. Look at that green motherfucker. Um, so I'm going to leave the episode here. I think we've accomplished something and look at that dude is naked. Oh, well, he's wearing speedos, but still, my God, a handsome young lad he is. Ooh, squishy too. So with my nine out of 255 points, cheating bitch, I will now end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, do whatever your kids do. Do leave a comment because I do in fact love the comments very, very much as I do you. And you know it, who's a good, who's a good boy. Uh, so thank you and um, I will embarrassingly see you around the Chrono stream.